Next, the charities at breaking point. There are warnings tonight of a perfect storm after a poll of hundreds of charity bosses. Many said that staff were burning out as demand grows and funding is squeezed. And one homelessness group in Leicester says it's already having to ration its support. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. From delivering food parcels to homeless people in bed and breakfast accommodation to finding somewhere to stay for men and women sleeping rough, Every year, thousands of people turn to help the homeless in Leicester. When you actually help them, the appreciation you get, they have tears in their eyes, literally, they start crying and breaking down because for some people, the, the help we provide is actually life-saving. Adam was helped by the charity after leaving jail and sleeping on the streets. Now he's got a job as a support worker here. I'd had enough of drugs and alcohol, so I tried to change my life. Um, I was still homeless while I came off all of the drugs, um, living in a tent at the back of the Leicester city ground under a train bridge. Now I've got a job here, yeah, I found that I had a good skill talking to people and because of my previous lifestyle I pretty much know everybody that we come into contact with which is quite handy to already have an existing relationship with people. This is one of thousands of charities across the East Midlands doing everything from running youth clubs to saving lives in some of the world's poorest countries. Those charities all have to compete for funding and compete for our donations too. And the pressure's building according to a new YouGov poll of more than 300 charity leaders. More than half said they'd experienced a surge in demand for help since the start of the pandemic. Four out of ten didn't expect to have the capacity to meet growing demand this winter. And out of charities offering health and social services, more than 70% expected demand to increase this winter. More than half of them didn't think they'd cope. We've seen a lot more service users. There's probably a 30% increase on service users that we've seen in the last, I say, three, four months, five months. And the needs are changing as well. Purse strings have got tighter. Uh, people's donations have kind of slowed down as well. If it comes to a point where we're going to have to stop certain services, Leicester itself will definitely feel that 100%. Arif's already having to ration requests for extra food and toiletries, but he's determined that some of this city's most desperate people will continue to get what they need. Jeremy Ball, BBC East Midlands Today, Leicester.